those of you that have watched this channel before will know that I am a huge fan of McFarlane's Batman 66 line, but that doesn't mean I can't be critical about it. And one of my biggest gripes is the fact that they have given us a playset, yet they have given us no figures that can be put into this playset. Quite ridiculous, really. So in this video, I'm going to take matters into my own hands and try to create my own figure that deserves to be put inside this playset. So stay tuned and I will show you what I'm talking about. Welcome back. Now, it's been at least a year since McFarlane gave us the Wayne Manor Library playset. But since that playset's release, McFarlane have not given us any figures to put inside that playset. Now, I understand they have announced the Alfred Pennyworth figure that's coming in due course. But the point is, as things stand, we've had a playset for about 12 months, and yet we have no figures to put in that playset. So I will now take matters into my own hands and try to create one figure that can go into this playset while we wait for the figure of Alfred Pennyworth to get delivered. So, what I've done is, I've gone on to the Thai website, shoppy.co.th, and got myself another unmasked Batman figure, as well as the Commissioner Gordon figure, which I did not decide to get, because I only want figures from the TV show, and as this is from the new Adventures of Batman, and this is most certainly not my Commissioner Gordon. This was of no interest to me, but then it occurred to me, this is a suited figure. We have the Bruce Wayne head sculpt. What if we just do a quick swap and it, nothing else, I will have a Bruce Wayne to stand in the Wayne Manor Library and in due course, I will get Alfred to go alongside him. I also do have an extra unmasked Robin, but I don't know where to find the body of a smaller figure which would keep the height difference between Bruce Wayne and Dick Grayson. But if nothing else, we'll go ahead and we'll try and build ourselves the perfect looking Bruce Wayne figure for the Wayne Manor library playset. So all they can really do is get these opened up. But one quick point to mention. On this new Adventures of Batman Commissioner Gordon card back, they have still kept the Batman Classic TV logo in the corner here. Don't know why, because this is not a classic TV figure. But aside from that, it's a nice enough looking sculpt. Um, don't know about Batmite, that is one of the goofiest accessories I've ever seen. We've gone over this figure before. Uh, one of the many many reissues of the Batman body, but the head is nice. So let's go ahead and try to build ourselves a Bruce Wayne. Okay, so we have both figures out of the package and a quick comment on this little Batmite. Yes, it looks funny, it looks quirky, but it's absolutely useless as the way the feet have been sculpted and there's so much weight to the rear of the figure, it's simply cannot stand up. So, complete waste of time. Almost as bad as those Biff Bang Pow little uh, text bubbles we get. But, the figures are here. Now, I'll be honest, this is a really nice looking figure. Very well done. And the head, whilst it's not my Commissioner Gordon, is a really well done head. And the spectacles fit on the face quite perfectly, which is quite unusual of a figure of this size. So it's a very well done figure. The unmasked Batman we've seen before, but in this instance, the utility belt has been put on upside down. Now I'm assuming the torso will come off and we can rectify that, but this is not the video for that. The whole purpose here is to make ourselves a suited Bruce Wayne. So, having never done this before, I'm assuming I can just pop the heads off without any problem. Should I face some resistance, we can always do the old boil and pop method, but let's see how we get on here. So one, two, three. Ah, 
Okay, pretty easy. And I'm assuming the same again for Batman. Oh, oh, slightly harder, but yes, there is the headless Batman. Now, moment of truth, will this fit onto this peg? And also the skin coloring is pretty good. The hands do match the face and the neck. So anyway, let's see if we can pop this on. And we're in. And I'm pleased to say we have a pretty good looking Bruce Wayne to put into the Wayne Manor library playset. Now, how hard was this for McFarlane to do? An idiot like me has just done this in a matter of seconds. The head sculpt existed. The body sculpt was a pretty basic suit. This should have been released at the same time as the playset. Absolutely no excuses for that on McFarlane's part, but without their help, well, it was their help because they made these two figures, I now have Bruce Wayne to go in my Wayne Manor library. And in a few months time, I'll get Alfred. So we're now we're just missing a Dick Grayson. As I said, I do have the extra unmasked Robin head sculpt should I find a suitable body, but I'm going to tell you, this is pretty damn good. The, the head and the neck are a good color match. The hands are a good color match. All in all, this has been a job well done. Now, it just occurred to me that whilst this head is not the head of the Commissioner Gordon I came to know and love, it is a not bad resemblance to Alfred. So, we could in fact make an even better Alfred as Batman because the one McFarlane gave us was simply the standard Batman with the white moustache painted on. But now we have, from a distance, a pretty good looking Alfred as Batman. So all in all, this was a rather successful experiment. So I'm very pleased about this. Um, way better than I expected. This actually looks fantastic. I am so, so happy with this. So there you go. If you so wish, get yourselves a Commissioner Gordon figure, an unmasked Batman, and there you go. You will have Bruce Wayne. So I hope you all found that interesting, a bit of fun for you all. If you did, please drop a quick like, make sure you're subscribed. And as always, stay tuned for more videos from all things 80s.